On this truck, there is a mod that I did that I do not like. You guys have heard me mention this in multiple videos, and that would be my atmospheric oil catch cans. I'm not saying that it doesn't operate well. I'm sure it catches oil wonderfully. The filter, the whole atmospheric thing, how it lets it out. I cannot stand that. It smells terrible, gives me headaches when I'm driving, and I kind of didn't realize it would do that. Kind of silly on me not to realize. Also, the quality of the plug. So that is the plug right there. On the end of it is actually kind of messed up. In order to get a better version of this, I went to Mishimoto's website and they had one and it's falling off this thing. So we're gonna go on ahead and figure out how we're gonna install this. The reason I say we're gonna figure out how to install this is because this one is made for a truck with an EGR. Well, mine fell off, so um, it'll still operate with it. It's just about the mounting. The mounting is what's gonna be a little difficult. I don't necessarily know exactly where we're gonna mount it. Pretty simple bracket, usually a mount, something like that. Okay, so would it mount just like that? No, not in a mount there. Okay, so this is where the fabricating is gonna come in. We're gonna have to kind of figure something out, maybe make a mount out of this mount. Got the lines kind of around where they're gonna end up being, just to kind of see that this can will have to be facing somewhat like this. Okay, so now we can look at what heights it would be at. So if it's there, it's touching the fuel line, so it needs to be like that high. That's kind of silly. If I could mount it there, but then the lines wouldn't be able to go to it. So I think I figured out what I'm gonna do. So I kind of hated it sitting there. It took up all that empty space and looked kind of silly. I have this extra, ow, I just hit my head on the hood. That hurt really bad. I have this extra thing here. It was the where the air box used to mount to, and now obviously it's not. Um, I thought it'd be really cool to kind of mount it there. So imagine it sitting here facing this way. And then without the oil, the old oil catch can in the way, I think I can run the lines to fit it. You see, this is the old line, this is the new line. It matches up to there, and then comes out pretty close to it. And I just pulled it out of where it needs to be. But it comes out pretty close to it, and then this one the same way, all the way to the green thing, and then comes out to here. So with the oil catch can out of the way, I think I can, I can make it work. The bracket's massively too big, but if I cut the bracket right here, and then drill a hole here, and then I can bolt it into there. Boom, easy. Ow! It almost came off, it just broke in my hand. Call me Josh. And this will look a lot better whenever it's painted up and stuff, obviously. I'm gonna put y'all down so that I can press the bolt in. Okay, that, that fits up pretty well. Okay, so with some adjusting, it doesn't touch the intake and uh, the tubes are kind of far away from it, so that's good. So here's the fittings right here. Pretty simple, we have an O-ring. Keep the oil from coming out. So everything is all buttoned up. The reason I even went with this system was one, because the other one was like uh, giving me headaches and it smelled terrible and it was kind of embarrassing having people in the truck and it smells like in a weird oil smell. smell. So that's why I wanted to get a new one also because it was rubbing up on the air intake and looking really weird right here. So as you guys can see, I already like how this one is all tucked away and you don't really see it. So behind the air intake over here, and I was gonna paint it, like I said, but um, I, my black paint, um, it's like weird, it would come out as like a dust. It was really, really weird, so I'm gonna need to go get new black paint. So I'll just take the thing off and repaint it later on. But you see, the lines ran up to it just fine. No issues. And so, you know, they run down to here, and then over, oh, I mean, I might just tuck that up a little bit. And then they run under there, 
under there and then to the air intake. So this system will is a baffled oil catch can or oil separator, whatever you want to call it. So it's going to keep the oil from getting into the air intake. It does the same exact job as the old one. It's just that it catches the oil. It doesn't let it go into the atmosphere. So it fixes that uh, terrible smelling problem and all that. So much better. I like the look a lot more. Just tucked away. Not something I want to draw too much attention to. And uh, yeah, it gives me more space right here. So I'm very happy with it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I know we kind of jimmy rigged it a little bit. Made it work for our needs instead of how the manufacturer would have wanted us to do it. But that's okay. So no major leaks that I can see. And everything seems to be running fine. Awesome. Also, if you guys have watched the recent saga of just going through all the issues with the truck, it is so nice to see no major lights on there. The two red lights you're seeing are the seatbelt lights. Um, no issues with the truck. That feels great. Um, very, very happy about that. As you guys can tell in the title, this video is the oil separator video plus a full mod list. So let me read you guys this comment real quick. So this guy said, you should do a video on everything to make the truck run perfectly, a summary of mistakes, and then what you did to fix it. So I read that and I thought that was a great idea, uh, but I'm gonna take it to another level. I figured let's just do a mod list video of every little thing we've ever done to the truck because I get so many questions all the time of people watching videos from way back and not watching the newer ones, so they're asking questions. Um, or they're watching the newer ones and not the old ones and so it gets kind of confusing You have to watch like all my videos to get the full picture So let's do a quick mod list So if I remember correctly one of the first things I did on this truck was delete the DEF and do a 4 inch exhaust So link in description where I got the easy link tunes with the shift on the fly All the unlock cables you need to tune it and where I got the 4 inch exhaust link in description Then I did the color match grill I had visual effects paint shop do that for me I kind of just copied the Pro 4X style of it and I want to do the rest of the color matching but we're still going to be getting to that uh, I haven't done that yet then we did the cool air intake and the cool air intake is from CFT drastically changed the sound of the truck it just gave it so much more turbo noise so if you guys want more tur turbo noise I do recommend that air intake it's pretty good air intake we did the oil separator and that was pretty cool uh, but obviously we swapped that out because I did not like smell that it created then i went on ahead and decided to make my own egr delete kit which you guys know that this is the beginning of all the issues so it went well for a while making the parts and stuff the machine shop took like six weeks or maybe more than that to get the parts in and that was very annoying not having the truck for that long but it was all right uh we got the parts in and everything went fine until we were having some massive issues uh the truck was just like really really slow couldn't get up to 40 miles an hour running really weird running terrible and it was just it was not good so then i thought that it was because of the pipe that we had fabricated the uh up pipe with block off plates it was the stock one we had a block off plates and my logic was the 60 power strokes they have a divot in there and whenever you just block it off you're causing like weird airflow issues and causing the trucks to act crazy and the duramaxes have issues like that too so i thought that's what it was so then i got a cft up pipe um so that was a thousand dollars um, and the EGR delete kit from the machine shop is like 350 so we're at like $1,300, $1,350 for everything, which is a lot cheaper than getting an EGR delete kit anywhere else, so I was, it's still a success in my opinion. Uh, the up pipe did not fix it though, my theory was completely wrong. What was wrong was the actuator on the truck. So the actuator, on the, the actuators on these trucks, you can't really get them easy. Uh, some people are like, well, I ordered mine and it came in in two weeks. It's like, yeah, well, that's a, a stroke of luck. And some people say, well, they're on Z1 Motorsports. Like, yeah, well, they're still back ordered there too. Someone messaged me on Instagram with a list of dealers that had actuators right now. So I got mine from Tennessee. I had to pay a premium for it because the dealers cost, charge a lot of money. So it was like $1,200, but I could get it in three days. So that's what I did. Put that in, had it recalibrated. Truck ran perfect for, and if you guys heard that little ding, that was just my tire light. Not a new issue didn't pop up on the truck, but that ran perfect for a few weeks. And then I started having like weird sensor issues here and there. Turned out to be the battery connections. Battery connections on these trucks are very finicky. Uh, they're, they're finicky on any vehicle. If you have them dirty and corroded, you're gonna have issues, but these trucks especially. The actuator was broken. I think I, I personally, I think I broke the actuator whenever I was doing the EGR delete kit. I didn't know what it was at the time and I was being kind of rough on it. So I think that's why it went out. So that issue was fixed and then the batteries just needed to be fixed. And then, you know, maybe the sensors I replaced did something, but I don't know. But now the truck is completely fine. I just need to put air in my tires. Um, 
So that's kind of the, that's the full mod list and that's the saga of the truck. I'm pretty sure I didn't leave anything out. Okay, so the list of mods I have them written down here. Color match grill, easy link with GDP tunes, shift on the fly switch and all the unlock cables we need. Four inch straight pipe exhaust, CFT, illusion purple cool air intake, CFT, illusion purple catch can, which we just replaced with a Mishimoto catch can, CFT up pipe, custom EGR delete that the machine shop did, and then the underglow, which the underglow doesn't like work like ever. But um, pretty much everything, guys, that is the full rundown of the truck, mod list wise. I know a lot of you guys were kind of wondering. Everything that I just mentioned, there's a link in the description for below if you guys want to get it yourself, uh, except for the EGR delete, because that was custom. The next few things on the truck I want to do, I definitely want to reflash the tunes. Um, you know, the GDP tunes are just not that great. Um, there's better out there, out of Canada, is where the, the, you can get good tunes to these trucks, apparently. So I'm looking into that. Um, but really, guys, the next few videos you're going to see are going to be about, unless we go off-roading in the truck or whatever, but um, the next few videos you're going to see are going to be about the 240. So we're putting the engine, the finishing touches on the, we're putting the finishing touches on the engine itself. Um, waiting for the oil feed tube to come in, then we'll put the oil pan on. Once we do that, the flywheel and the transmission adapter is in my house, so um, all we got. So once we have that, we can go ahead and move on to actually putting the transmission on the on the engine, which will be a really big thing. Um, control arms on those cars that you can't get them at the auto parts store. I tried. Um, and so I'm waiting for those to come in. Once those come in, the car will be back on the ground. Then we're planning this weekend to put the engine and transmission in the car. That doesn't mean we can start it up, but we'll at least be putting it in the car. So that'll be a big moment. So I'm super excited for that. This week's going to be awesome. With that being said, guys, go and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thanks for blowing up the channel so much recently, guys. The subscribers are way more than they've ever been. Um, and uh, so I just really appreciate it. And I will see you guys whenever we 